Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how to make an enderman farm here in the nether in the 1.16 update. I am currently running with the snapshot 20w11a but I will be sure to let you know in the title description and leave a comment if something uh, happens that changes anything to this farm. But anyways, let us get right to it. So first off, you want to make sure that you are in a warped forest biome. Because if you didn't know in 1.16, there spawns a lot of endermen in the warped forest. So that is cool. And we are going to use that. So what you want to find is an area like this. That is essentially a lava ocean, but still has the warped forest biome right here. So this is an area that you want to find and then we want to find a suitable location basically an area or sorry a two by two chunk area that isn't too close to any land. So if we hold down F3 and press G we can see the chunk borders and as we can see there are some stuff here in the way. Now this doesn't have to be precise all right it doesn't have to be precise um, but of course the more precise the better the result. So if we see here, we can get pretty, yeah, as you can see, now we're at the other wastes area. We don't want that to happen. But I think this place right here, even though we have that island there and that island there, I think we're going to fit it in. Let's check. So as you can see, this yellow uh, cage is one chunk. And you can see the red um, lines here represent corners of other chunks. So if we move one over, and then two over, so this is part of another chunk. And if we go over here, one and two. So this place is not the best. It isn't the best, but again, it doesn't have to be super precise. Let's check over here. So we have one, yeah, here is not that better, to be honest with you. So how about if we check right here? Ooh, oh yeah, this place. This place looks good. So I just checked, we barely have anything touching in any of these directions, so this area is perfect. Now what we want to do is go straight up to Y level 120. And the reason why we want to go to Y level 120 is basically that is the bedrock roof. Like so. Now we do actually want this shoot, so leave it here. Um, we do want to break this block right here, but at Y level 120, that is going to be the flooring right here. So I'm gonna put a block that I can recognize. Uh, cool or why not? <laughs> gonna put a block that I can recognize at Y level 120 because we will need this shoot later. Now what you wanna do is go 20, uh, sorry, 16 blocks in each direction. So 16 block in this direction, this direction, this direction, and this direction. I'm gonna show you right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then go back. Do the same in this direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then for the other ones as well, in the other directions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And so on. Now, if you stumble across a situation like this, just make a bridge over to the uh, block right here and just close it up. We will need to do more coverage bit right here, but this should be fine. Now what you wanna do, of course, make sure that it is three blocks tall. We want it to be three blocks tall right here. And let's just get that closed up, there we go. But yeah, make sure that it is three blocks tall because that is required for the Enderman to spawn. Now what we want to do after we have done that is now we need to basically remove all these uh, corner chunks that we have here. So what I like to do is go to the end of one of the tunnels and then choose a direction and then go 16 in this direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Of course, again, make sure that you get this bit with it, taken, taken with it. And then I just, in this area, then I turn to the left towards the other tunnel. And then I just keep going. Well, in this case, we have a void or a lava hunter, so we're going to bridge over like so. 
and we should pretty much hit perfect with the other tunnel right here as you can see and then now if I remove this and show you we have this free chunk that we can just start mining at this I feel is very useful in survival situations because then you just have this chunk you need to take care of and don't have to keep your eyes on coordinates and whatnot so keep doing that with all the other ones I'm gonna show it off with this one as well so 16 blocks in this direction, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then keep going in this other direction until you hit the other tunnel, like so. Of course, make sure that it is 3 blocks high. Do that, get rid of these, and I'll be right back. Alright, so now you should have an area looking like this, and oh, it's kind of almost, or it's pretty much all already working. <laughs> Now if you do stumble upon an area like this, that has this issue, then uh, you just gotta fill it up. So I'm just gonna do this to save time, and then just fill this in, and like so. Perfect. Now for the rest of this. Uh, back to this, whoa, back to this deadly hole. <laughs> what you're gonna need now is a fence and a fence gate. We're also gonna need a trap door and some ladders right here and what you want to do is pretty much fence this one block in like so and then put the trap door right there and then we're actually gonna go back here and then we're gonna go 60 blocks down including this one so I'm gonna remove the trap door just so I can actually no so that's one all right that's one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and boom. That's the block that we will be standing on. And so here we want to make a 5x5 five five, uh, area for us to stand on. So this is a 3x3. Three three. Just mine this out. Or if you're hovering above the lava, well, just build it out. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just do that and I'll be right back. If you're having trouble with like centering, where is the ladder going to be, where it is centered, what is centered here, because I have made that mistake, you can say that from here and the block that the ladder is on, this is like your tube right here. And so you can mark your tube and then you just basically need a one block around that tube. You can use that to measure um, what is censored and what isn't. Now what you want to do is actually place blocks around this area right here because this is where the endermen are going to uh, to be standing at so you can smack their feet. Um, this will basically be the killing area. And so now what we gotta do is we gotta go up back here and then we want to dig pretty much this area out around our ladder uh, shaft <laughs> we want to dig it all we want to dig all the way down to the killing place that we just made so right here so yeah do that and i'll show you how it should look when it's done and boom that is how it should look a a straight drop down to these killing blocks or killing chamber right here next final bit that you want to do is take some trap doors and then put them on this block right here, not on the shaft, but on the opposite side of the shaft. So like so, and like so, and like so, and final three right here. And then you want to open them, like so. Goodbye. And there we go. Don't worry about this uh, little bit right here. It doesn't matter. And now he's down there and being a perfect example of a pig, sorry, not a pig man, <laughs> an enderman. Uh, being trapped down here so that's cool so that's pretty much the farm well done now what we gotta do to make this farm working is go into options video settings render distance set it down to two done done and then save and quit to tile and then what we gotta do is jump back into the same world like so so now you can see my uh my render distance is at two. And now we're just gonna go down here and uh, chill at the bottom of this for five minutes. I'm gonna sit here for five minutes and I'll be right back with you guys and we'll take a look at what has happened. So be right back. Timer started, I'll be right back.
All right, five minutes has passed, and as you can see, we have quite a bit of activity down here. But that's not just all of it. If we go up, there are actually quite a few here. Now, a thing to note: um, if you go, if you do like me, go into video settings and up the render distance, just so you can see what is going on. If you want to continue using the farm, or rather, if you want to go down AFK again, you will need to repeat the go down to two chunks, leave the world, and then go go back into the world before it will work again. If you do choose to put your video uh, render render distance up from the two chunks, but as you can see, there are still quite a few Endermen here, and this is unfortunately one of the more eh parts of this farm, making them angry at you. But I mean, it's certainly doable, and they will just run straight towards you and right down to the killing chamber, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, that's all of them almost. Oh, wait, we're missing a few. You, you, you. Doesn't take that much effort to just look at them and just get them down here. Sometimes it can be a bit annoying and take a little while, but there we go. I think that was all of them. Come on, buddy. Come on. This guy doesn't want to do it. Oh, there we go. And I'm just going to go in here and hostile creatures. Boom. There we go. Because <laughs> that is extremely loud. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, if I go into creative mode, and here we have a bunch of elements. So I'm going to just XP um, set zero, just so I don't have any experience. And I'm going to take my... Diamond sword. There we go. Gonna give my sword sharpness just so this goes any a little bit faster. No looting or anything, just sharpness. And I'm gonna go back to survival mode. And apparently that did not get it to zero. There we go. What's missing the levels? And now we just gotta well punch him and kill him. And let's see how many ender pearls and experience we have at the end of this. Might take a little bit, obviously, but uh, yeah, just keep punching. I'll keep punching, and uh, I'll be back when they're all dead. <laughs> now, a quick note. If you do stand too close, you may get hit like that. So do be careful of that. And there we go. They are all dead. There we go. Perfect. So I just gave myself some golden apples just so I didn't die in the process. But as you can see, I now have over a stack of ender pearls. And I have 12 levels, so not too bad from a single 5 minute just sitting here watching YouTube while I'm waiting for the counter to go down. So yeah, not too bad. That is pretty much all there is about this farm. So yeah guys, that's gonna that's that's pretty much it for this farm. If you have any suggestions for improvements, leave them down below in the comments as well as if you're having issues or questions or anything like that, be sure to leave them down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll try and help you out if I can. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned. And uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.